I am here because I'm starting a new vlog. <sighs> I'm so nauseous right now. Um, so this is going to be my vlog that is going to cover me querying agents. I've decided to go and query for literary agents so that they can then go to publishing houses and try to sell my book for me. And I'm not going to go directly to publishing houses. So following all the appropriate steps, I have finished with my beta reader feedback and input. I am done with all of my edits. I have a query letter that I am happy with. I have uh, subscribed to Query Tracker, which is a place where you can get access to agents, figure out if they're accepting submissions. You can search via what they're looking for. So I searched for new adult and fantasy, found a whole list of agents that are looking for those genres, and then found out what their submission is like, and then from there have done my research to figure out exactly what they want in email, exactly how to fill out the forms that they have. And I'm gonna start batches of query letters. I am freaking out. Right now I have a preliminary list with 15 agents on it. I'm gonna send it out in two different badges, batches. So like a batch of eight and a batch of seven. Wait for the responses to come in. I'm expecting rejections. I'm not expecting to get signed or have an agent want me right away. That would be amazing, but I'm preparing for the absolute worst, which is that nobody wants me. And then I have to look at another batch of agents, which is fine. <sighs> I don't know how I'm feeling right now other than the fact that I am so nervous. I've had a lot of people tell me this is a great book. I've had a lot of people tell me that I'm not gonna have a problem getting it published and then that has kind of built up this like I can do it kind of mentality around me which I appreciate and I need but also makes me so nervous to face like my actual first rejections in regards to this story because so far it's all been really positive. I'm open to it of course I know what's going to happen but I've never queried before, and this is a very new experience for me. Writing and editing is not. Querying definitely is. I am out of my element and, quite frankly, petrified. I'm going to take you through. Um, tonight, I have my query letter ready. I have to make a couple little tweaks, and then I'm going to start submitting to agents tonight. Uh, it is June 18th, and by the end of the night, I will have queried at least seven agents. Um, it is 8.30 now. As a reward for getting through this and not chickening out, um, I will be buying myself the limited edition Waterstones uh, Ninth House by Lee Bardugo that is signed and beautiful. Um, it's a splurge, but I'm going to allow it because this makes me so anxious. That's what I've decided to do for myself. So my hair is up. Uh, my glasses are on. It's time to get to work. I'm going to play music. I'm going to go fix my query letter and then I'm going to show you a little bit of what my process looks like trying to figure out what each um, person wants. I'll show you a little bit of the query tracker website and what I'm looking through and what I've done. Um, I'll turn my camera around and do that and then I will take you with me as I hit send on my first submission. <sighs> okay, uh, tonight's the night. Let's do this. Here is my query list on query tracker. And essentially, these are all of the uh, agents that I am interested in right now, uh, where they are represented, and then how they accept submissions. So these are for form submissions. These are email submissions. They're all in the U.S. Over here is where I solidified my search. So let's start a new one, and I'll show you what it looks like. Agent, search for agent. Over here, we're going to go to genres. I'm going to search for fantasy and new adult. Uh, location I stuck to US and this is the list that came up so basically I get all of these people um, and then through these these are all the same agency so you can only query one person from each agency so I went through picked the person I thought I had the best connection with and then uh, went on and picked more people out and then I can add them to my query list right now I'm setting the first one to Adrian this is Adrian's information um, Adrian works with Foundry and she does these genres. This is what she's looking for. Um, and then this is her client list. So Ken Dower Blake, uh, Mindy McGinnis. We have a couple different authors there that are noticeable to me. Here are some comments about her. These are the people that have worked with her, etc. 
Um, then we have over here a data explorer. This tells you what she responded to, what she didn't respond to, etc. So I'm going to try for her whether or not she answers. Who knows? Let's see who else we have here. Uh, let's look at Erica. Erica up here. So Erica has clients. Who do we have? Nobody that I know off the top of my head, but her comments, I believe, were pretty positive. Personalized form letter. They give you a little bit of insight about their experience with her. And the data explorer, again, tells you whether or not she responded asking for partial requests, full requests, whether they were rejected, etc. This is kind of what I'm looking at and what I'm working with. And then this is my query list. And I'm just going down it and sending out queries. So I'm starting right now with the people that I can email, which is why I jumped down to Adrian. Then what I do basically is I go to Adrian's website and it gives you the submission guidelines. So just because you can email this person and their email address is on Query Tracker doesn't mean you can just email them. I go over here, they want the query letter that has a synopsis of the book and the author bio. My query letter already has a synopsis and author bio, so I don't have to worry about that. And the first three chapters of my manuscript. Then it says that they will only accept um, one request, so you can't submit to more than one agent. If you don't, haven't received anything in eight weeks, you're just not a right fit. And also, email submissions include your name, project title in the subject line. We do accept attachments, but your email will bounce back if it's too large, so maybe just paste it into the email, which I think I'm going to do. So she is what I'm working on right now, and I think what I'm going to end up doing is going into here, and I'm just going to start a couple of different emails and uh, wait until like all of them are ready to go, and then just go through and hit send. So I'm going to go work on doing that. I'm hanging out with Amber on a Google Hangout. Um, and I'm going to go start working on getting all of this information ready, grabbing the first three chapters. Here's my query letter. Um, the spellings are just because I've got words in my book that don't actually exist. So I'm going to go do all of that and come back and show you the submit button. All right, guys, it is now 9.50 and I am done doing all of the like insane amounts of research that I had to do. I have a list of everybody that has accepting, that is accepting email queries and I had to go through and go to like each one of their individual websites and then figure out what they want. Some people want it five pages, some people want the first chapter, some people want 10 pages or the first chapter, some people want it as an attachment, some people want it pasted into the email. It's a big long thing. I think I have it all figured out. So I think I have six queries ready to go. No, I have five queries. I really wanted to query the one girl, but she um, said like, hey, check Twitter, because my Twitter tells you like tips for querying me. And one of her most recent tweets was like, hey guys, I'm swamped. I haven't responded to anything in a really long time. Sorry about that, but I've been really, really busy. And that doesn't look like it's changing for her. So I decided to go with somebody else at that publishing house or that uh, agency. I keep saying publishing house. It's not a publishing house. It is an agency for literary agents. So I have Adrian from Foundry, Emily from Fuse, Bridget from Jabberwocky, Susie from New Leaf, and Hannah from Writer's House. And I'm going to send all these emails out right now. I'm like burping pure fear nausea. Pure fear nausea, guys. It is so legit. A part of me just wants to be able to write book two. I know that book two is really irrelevant unless I get book one picked up, so I think I'm just using book two as like a way to distract myself while I have to wait because you've got to wait like eight weeks to whenever to figure out if these people even want a partial submission or a full submission of the manuscript and then you still have to wait and see if they want you. And my manuscript is long. It's 117 thousand plus words which is large for a book um and especially for an author that has not been published before so the nerves are really really real about submitting something that's that long um also when your novel is that long I do feel like I have a really strong start but I don't know how strong my first 10 pages are like they're good I don't know if they're like buy my book good but we're gonna wait and see I suppose let's um Let's submit submit some queries. Oh my god, I'm gonna I'm gonna throw up. Okay, uh, I'm gonna turn you around. We're gonna do this.
All right, here's a spreadsheet that I made that follows um, the date, the agent, uh, the agency submission method, their emails, confirmed, reputable, what they wanted. Um, I'm nervous, but uh, here we go. Here's my emails. And down here are all of my drafts. So this one is for Emily. And this is the whole email. That's my query letter. And then here's the beginning of my book that she asked for. So we're going to go ahead and hit send. Oh my god, 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 oh my god. Oh my god. Wait, I hit it and it didn't do anything. I hit it. Oh my god, it's gone. Oh my shit, it's gone. Alright, see this one? It says message sent. It says message sent. Message sent. Message sent. Don't mind me. Don't mind me. Okay. Uh, let's close this. And then this one is for Adrian. Uh, we're going to send that one too. Yep. Okay, that one sent. Uh, oh my god. This one's for Bridget. Uh, let's send Bridget. Seriously? Seriously, I can't right now. Bridget's is gone. Alright, this one's for Susie. See you later, Susie. Oh my god, this one's for Hannah. There you go, Hannah. Uh, let's just double check. In sent. One, two, three, four, five. Up here. Oh, that's Amber just hanging out. Uh, over here are all of my queries. Over here, all my sent. So we just have to wait and see now. First auto response. Thank you for your query. It's been received and will be reviewed by our team. If you don't hear within one month, it means we will be passing on your work. Please don't take the pass as a comment on you or your writing ability. It just, it isn't intended to be one. We wish you the best of luck with your submission. Sincerely, the New Leaf Literary Team. Please do not respond to this automated email. Sorry, you couldn't see that for the whole time, huh? That is my first auto-generated uh, response. So in a month, we will see. I guess I should make a new folder for queries so that I can put all my responses into one folder, but holy crap. Now I have officially queried five agents. I would like to do a couple more, but honestly the forms are really labor intensive. They all require different things. So I will probably take it easy for the rest of the night because it's almost 10 o'clock and just uh, rest on the fact that I have submitted five and tomorrow I will be submitting more and I will show you what those forms look like and how that process goes. And then I will keep you aware of any responses that I get, rejections or otherwise. So, shit, okay, uh, stay tuned. I am back and it looks differently because uh, usually my desk is set up in this kind of a situation, but I moved my desk against this wall, like I moved everything over so that it's like next to my bookshelf, um, which means um, my desk now you see the hot mess of my room if I were to vlog at my desk. So I'm going to have to put stuff up on my wall over here to uh, fancy it up. But uh, yeah, um, that's what happens when you stress out because you've got query letters out and you're just nervous that your entire life is falling apart. Um, tonight I have queried two more agents through forms. I'm going to show you one of the forms that I'm looking at uh, that I've already filled in and I'm going to let you see kind of what my experience has been. Um, and, uh, yeah, let's take a look at one of the forms. A little bio on me, uh, gummy bears. Let me spell that correctly, shall I? Uh, a website, my Twitter handle. Have I previously published other books? Yes. Uh, have I ever been rep represented by an agent? No. Um, my title, my genre, my word count. Here is my first 10 pages of my book. Uh, so those all get pasted into here. Then we have a one sentence pitch. I have described my potential audience for the book. And then here I have comparable books down here if there's an artist, illustrator, anything. Uh, I hit submit. I re put in my email. Hold on. And I hit OK. Holy shit balls. Uh, query has been received. Email confirmation has been sent query status page generated. Uh, so I go back to my email here. I refresh my emails. 
on my query tracker, you can see tonight, uh, 619, I sent two out more, or two more out, Laura and Cameron. Um, here's the form links, and yeah, so I had a couple emails last night and two forms tonight. They take considerably more time to send in by a long shot. So here is my confirmation from Cameron. Here is my confirmation from Laura. I'm going to move those into my folder for query submissions so that I have those saved. Um, and that's kind of what I'm looking at. So I'm back here to my query list. I have basically, here's all the forms. I go down here to the form and it's for Erica Bowman. Uh, this one's pretty straightforward. This one is just my name, company, don't have one. Uh, email, write your message here. Wait, that can't be right. It does not, this does not accept unsolicited hard copy submissions. Please note we do not represent original screen prints or screenwriters. We're gonna select an agent. I'm looking for Erica. Here is submitting to Erica. My name, my email, short bio, a brief description of my project, one sentence summary, my genre, which would be young adult, books most similar to, referred by, nobody, if you weren't referred, how did you find me? Proposal, has it been submitted to any publishers? No. Has it been su submitted previously by any agents at this company? No. Is this proposal currently out with multiple agents? Yes. Submission query, title of my book manuscript, please paste the first 50 pages of my book into the area here. So that's more than anybody else. Uh, everybody else has kind of only wanted a max of 10. So I'm going to do this one again tonight. I think I can get through this one. Um, and we're going to see how these come back to me. It is high key nerve wracking to have these out and to be doing these, but I know that it's a necessary part of the process and an important part of the process. And I'm just trying to take it day by day and realize that mistakes are gonna happen and things are gonna change and uh, rejections are gonna come and I can only do my best. And so that's what I'm gonna do. Um, I'm bummed because tonight I found like a couple typos that I'm like, I definitely sent out stuff with typos yesterday. Uh, but that's that's just what happens. I don't know. We're going to see. I'm just going to keep trying, guys. And I'll keep taking you with me. And hopefully I'll have some good news for you soon. Hi, guys. It's Julie. And I am back with another um, update to my vlog for querying. <sighs> All right. So I sent out eight queries. You guys saw me go through the query process. And it has been a little while since I did that, not too many days, I forget when the last one was sent, but on the 23rd, today is the 26th, on the 23rd, I received my first ever rejection. So, I have uh, popped that cherry, burst that bubble, and uh, officially delved into the world of querying and rejections. Honestly, as the rejections go, it was the sweetest rejection I've ever received, and I actually didn't die. So, that is good. Since getting the rejection, I actually looked over my manuscript a little bit more, did a little bit of editing, found a couple of like errors in my first pages that I sent, which gives me such anxiety. Like I'm so anxious about that. I can't tell you how many times I've read this book, edited this book, gone over this book, and still there were just like little tiny imperfections. So I went back through the entire manuscript and did my best to like grammar check little tiny things. I think when I was like moving sections around like little words got missed and there was like double words or something funky happened. I think now I have all of that taken care of. I'm sure I don't but I think I do. I feel a little bit better about sending that out for the second round. I'm gonna wait for the second round until after I get back from my vacation on like July 8th and that gives me like a couple of weeks in between the, the two rounds. I have not heard back from anybody else. I just heard back from one publisher, so, or one agent, and um, I'll read you the letter because it actually wasn't horrific. It's a form letter, but like as form letters go, so comforting. So it says, Dear Julie, thank you so much for your query. I appreciate the opportunity to consider your work, but unfortunately, after careful consideration, I've decided to bow out. I am truly sorry not to be able to offer you representation, and I wish you the very best of publishing luck as you move forward. At ABLA, we understand that writing is a passion, an intensely personal calling, a longtime dream for many, and frequently a lonely endeavor. We have great respect for authors. We share the writer's passion. That is why we are literary agents. Unfortunately, publishing is a business that necessarily involves a lot of rejection at every stage. 
One of the most difficult things for us as agents is to have to say no, yet we can take only a small fraction of the work we see, and this is simply a business reality. We say no for so many reasons, because of the changing trends in the market, because we already have something similar on our list, because we know of similar published or forthcoming titles, because something isn't right for us, because although something may be strong, well-written, and even publishable, we didn't fall in love with it. Please do try to keep this one no in perspective. This is a highly subjective business and another agent may adore your work. All it takes is one yes. We wish you success in finding that yes, whether with us or another agent and publisher. Thank you for thinking of us and giving us an opportunity to consider your work. As rejections go, not horrible, right? It was somewhat comforting. I was also in the car with my sister and my nieces at the time that I found it in my like queue of emails. So I had to like hold it together because I was not alone and I was with children and I didn't want to like upset my nieces. So there were no tears, there was no drama. Um, as all things go, I knew rejections were gonna come and they officially have. So now all I can do is wait and hope that I get a request for partial or full or that somebody is interested in talking to me. What I'm doing right now, just so you know where I am, again, today's the 26th. I'm gonna wait until at least the 8th before I send out any more. I am going to just take a step back. I have done another round of edits on the book. I feel good to go sending this um, next batch out when it comes time. I'm gonna research agents, figure out exactly what needs to happen for the next batch to go out successfully. And then I'm going to start NaNoWriMo on book two. I'm going to be as hopeful as possible that this series is something that somebody is interested in and I'm going to continue with book two of the series for NaNo and start working on writing. And I think that that's a really good balance of like distracting myself from the fact that it's out there being judged by people and then also staying creative. So right now that's where I'm at. I'm going to wait a little bit longer, send out more queries. I'm not going to stop querying. This is obviously the first round is not the end of where I go with this. I'm still dedicated and driven to getting this traditionally published and getting an agent and getting it out there. I understand as well that getting an agent is just the first of many steps in the process and that this does not mean that a publisher is going to want the book still but I'm going to just have faith in myself and my story and do my best to make sure that that happens, dive into my writing retreat at the end of the month of July and just not stop. But that is where I'm gonna stop this vlog because I feel like the process of getting ready to query, showing you the querying process and then showing you my first rejection is probably a really good natural stopping point. So we're gonna go ahead and end this one here, but do definitely look out for some NaNoWriMo and like book two vlogs coming up as well as more as I continue to do a second batch of querying and then whatever other responses I get. I'm gonna take you guys with me on the entire journey and hopefully you guys will see me uh, get an agent and then we'll continue the journey from there. That's gonna be it for this one, um, but I feel good, I feel okay. I was not expecting a yes on the very first batch of emails, but thank you for all of you who do watch these. I realize that this is not my typical booktube content I understand that this is not why everybody found me or wants to stay, but for every one of you that decides to follow me on this journey for writing and becoming a traditionally pub published author, the small amount of views on my writing videos mean almost as much to me as the thousands on my larger booktube videos because this is something that is just like, as much as I'm a reader, this is such a deeply personal journey to document for myself and taking you guys with me really, really means a lot. So thank you for watching this, if you're watching this. If you liked it, be sure to give me a big thumbs up, click subscribe, and I'll see all of you in the next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.